Hey guys, it's Heather, and today I have a collaboration video with four other channels. Those channels are Meredith from Mare of All Trades, Kayla from Kayla's Closet, Favor with Life from Favor, and Terry from Southern Yankee. So about a week or so ago, Mer Meredith reached out to us and asked if we were interested in doing a formal wear shop your closet. And the ideas included um, anything that you would wear kind of to a fancier you know, event, whether it's a cocktail party, uh, a, a, a wedding dress, which I don't even know if I can get into yet. I have tried on a few items. Um, just anything that's a little dressier from like Easter Sunday on up to whatever. Now, I don't have like sequined cocktail gowns, but I do have a few dresses, a couple that have never even had a chance to be worn that were purchased for formal night on a cruise ship or whatever. So um, I'm going to pick five of the items and I'm going to try them on for you, okay? These are items that have been in my closet and they've been in my closet since at, last, at least last year and in some cases much longer than that. Okay, so I am by the skin of my teeth in my wedding dress. Um, my wedding dress was very simple. Um, I, it has got some ruching here and it does have a small little, just a little train back here. Um, shockingly, we were able to zip it up. It is a little tight. I have some bat wings hanging over, but this was almost nine years ago. So it's on. I'm having a hard time taking a deep breath, but if, if they had reached out to me and asked me to try to do this, you know, back in November, there wouldn't have been a chance. So this is actually kind of exciting to me that I'm actually in my wedding dress. I, I, these are not the shoes I wore to my wedding. I actually don't have those shoes, but I am gonna just use two different pairs of shoes for the, all the different outfits that I put on. These will be the more dressy ones. They have some sparkle to them, and then I just have some nude um, heels that I'll try on with some of them, but that's my wedding gown. Okay, so outfit number two. This is actually a date night dress or Valentine's Day dress or clubbing dress, but I don't club, um, that I purchased with my husband at White House Black Market, I want to say three years ago on their clearance, clearance, clearance rack, like bottom of the barrel, this is what you got left, and it was a little small at the time, and the idea was for me to shrink into it. Well, as I was digging through my closet, I'd forgotten all about it. I found it, and now I think I can wear it. My husband likes it. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, so this is outfit number two. Okay, so dress number four. This was actually purchased. I was with my daughter-in-law at Dillard's for the first cruise that we went on for formal night. So that's what this one was. This was how many years ago? Was it was our first cruise five years ago or so? Five or six, yeah. Okay, so that's the first dress that I purchased for a formal night dinner on a cruise ship. All right, this is dress number four, and I actually purchased this one to wear to my daughter's rehearsal dinner before her wedding. Um, at the time, I actually wore some bright red, little strappy heels with it. It's a little big now. Um, I do actually like this. I think this can be worn on a date in the summertime. Her wedding was in August, and it was very, very hot, so this was, it, it fit very nicely with the flow of the rehearsal dinner. I'm out of breath because trying all these dresses on is not an easy task. But um, I think I would have just this brought in a little bit more. I'll wait till I've lost my last 10 pounds and I may pull this in here because I do actually still really like this. And I purchased it because I felt like it was something that I could wear again. So um, I like the high-low. I think it's very flowy. I did have it altered when I purchased it um, shorter because it dragged the ground. But And this is with... You know, what, what is that, a three-inch heel, maybe? So, um, but that's, that's dress number four. And now i got to figure out what the fifth piece is going to be. I have some things that were passed down to me from my grandma. Um, I'm not comfortable with trying them on. One of them is, it's actually a mink coat, and I don't know what to do with mink. I'm not one to wear real fur, um, but it was something that my grandma loved when she was, you know, what, 60 years ago or so. And I'm not... I don't want to get rid of it because my grandmother wanted me to have it, but I would never wear it, so it sits. Um, and then I have, hold on one second, pause it for a second. 
And I just wanted to show this. Before my mother passed away, she had told me she wanted me to have this. She knows this is not my style. This is definitely my mother's style. She was eccentric and colorful and vibrant and fun and witty and funny and just all of that. And this fit her perfectly. Um, not that I'm saying I don't think I'm some of those things. I just don't think that this fits me. It's got these big shoulder pads in it. This is literally covered in sequins and pearls. I mean, and this sucker probably weighs five pounds. It's easy. I can't, it's, you know, sheer in some areas. I just can't imagine when I would ever wear this, but she wanted me to have it, so I have it. <laughs> okay, so my last dress is actually the dress that I wore to my daughter's wedding. Um, finding a mother of the bride dress was not an easy task, and it was a mother of the bride and the mother of the groom. So we actually, and Emily approved them, Emily helped us pick them out. We had matching, hers was like a soft peach, and then mine was this, I don't even know what color this is, like a sage green, I think, and they're actually bridesmaids dresses. Um, it was altered to fit me at the time. It's a little big now. It's very comfortable, completely different than my wedding gown. But this is what I wore to Emily's wedding, obviously with, you know, some fancy jewelry and some sparkly shoes. I did, I wasn't expecting to get my wedding dress on, so I brought up a couple others, but I'm not going to try them on now. So I have plenty of formal wear for sure. Some obviously needs to be altered to fit me, but... Um, I'll chat with you in a second about it. Well, that was so much more fun than I thought it was going to be. I mean, going through the closet, seeing what I had there, trying to find shoes to wear with outfits that I've had for years and I've gotten rid of those shoes. I am in need of a pair of strappy black heels. Apparently, that's one item I don't have. But how fun, how fun to try different things on and see just feel good, you know? And I have to tell you, it felt great to be able to get my wedding dress on. Now, I could barely breathe, and when I wore it on my wedding day, I was very comfortable. And I, those little straps that you saw were removable. But Meredith, thank you so much for including me in this and this idea. I think this was a lot of fun, um, something I had never thought to do before. You know, I definitely want to shop my closet and, and do some stuff for that, and I never thought about doing, you know, dress wear, formal wear, you know, dressy type clothing and I had a lot of fun doing this and I can't wait to see everybody else's videos too. I will put a link to everybody who's doing this collab and all of our videos should come up on the same day at the same time so it's gonna be so much fun to see everybody else's. You know when they mentioned being able to put on your wedding dress I thought I'd just be able to hold it up but about 10 more pounds I think and I would have been comfortable in it and it's definitely slowed down a little bit right now so um, not not getting a whole I mean I'm working out here but not like I was before and I need to get back into that so um, I hope this was fun for you maybe it'll give you the opportunity to go maybe the inspiration to go into your closet and see what you got and just play dress up do you remember when we were little girls and we got to play dress up and we do hair and makeup I did consider doing hair like with my wedding gown I had an updo with curls my hair was longer and I the curls that cascaded down and um, you know Emily's wedding day, my hair was down like this, pretty much. Um, but, you know, different styles, different things. And it was just, that would have been so much. And I don't even know if my hair can still do some of those things that we did back then. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Give this video a thumbs up if you did. I had fun regardless. So I hope you're having a happy day. I hope you guys are well. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, y'all.